you keep hearing that organizations are switching over to open office layouts. But what does that mean for you? Let's find out. This video is going to cover the idea behind an open office concept, the benefits, the drawbacks, and also how to find a balance for you. By the end of this video, you'll know if an open office concept is right for you. If you're new to our channel, we make videos about anything office related. So please hit that subscribe button and that bell to make sure you're notified when we release a new video. Company is intended to bring down the metaphorical wall between their employees, increasing communication and collaboration. Office workers would interact more, working more efficiently, creating an honest, transparent work environment. However, what we gain in openness, we lose in privacy and comfort. One of the benefits of an open office space is the sense of togetherness, creating more opportunities for collaboration. Decisions are reached quicker face-to-face -face with instant feedback on ideas. This increases chances of casual interactions amongst coworkers. Open offices are also more cost-effective than traditional workstations and private offices, as they require less furniture. This also means that more resources will be shared, therefore requiring a smaller footprint, which will make it more practical and efficient. Open offices are also very flexible. This will increase the opportunity of working remotely and meeting with clients. There will be less need for a fixed desk or an individual workstation. There's also no commitment to a single layout as it's easily reconfigurable. Barriers between employees and supervisors are now removed, making management more approachable. This levels out the playing field, making everyone feel like part of the team. Now let's talk about drawbacks to open concept designs. First of all, there's a very big lack of privacy. Open layouts cause coworkers to work in close proximity without any barriers. This means you can easily overhear phone calls being made by others, and also it can make you feel like upper management's always looking at you. Another thing to consider are distractions, employee conversations, phone calls, annoying habits by your coworkers. Those are all things that can distract you easily from your work. High paneled workstations are not distraction free, but they do create a sense of privacy. In an open layout, you might need to find an alternate way to drown out coworkers. Stress can also be a drawback. Lack of privacy and increased distraction can lead to frustration and ineffectiveness. Open spaces can make employees feel paranoid that someone's always looking over their shoulder. This limits their creative problem solving. Lack of face-to-face -face interaction could also be a drawback. Some studies have shown a decrease in face-to-face -face conversation after moving into an open office layout. In these cases, there was an increase in email and instant messaging instead of direct communication. This affects how teams work. Finding the balance that's right for your organization is key. It's possible to embrace an open layout without sacrificing privacy. This balance can be found by using unique desk groupings and also offering quiet areas like phone booths or meeting areas. You can also encourage movement and collaboration by introducing some soft seating into a communal area. If you still have questions or want to know what to do next, you can always check our learning center, which will answer a lot of questions. You can always come and see us in one of our showrooms to see the products in action. Or you can always give us a call and talk to an expert.